again, high production, the first test. Um, how did you feel you went and what did you learn out of the test, I guess, more importantly? Yeah, uh, obviously my first kind of experience in these conditions. I think um, I always got told that it's a pretty fast paced game, but I couldn't kind of believe how quick it was in the end. I think um, I was saying to Ash Agar, I was walking around the boundary, um, and I was saying, I feel like mentally cooked. I think there was like a chance every single ball. Um, yeah, you thought the game, you thought they were on 300, there was just so many shots being played. So, um, yeah, it's just a really fast paced game. But that's when you feel the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't actually mentally cooked, but yeah, I think it's just like there was just so much happening. Um, I think Gaz at one point had nine chances in a row off his bowling. It just felt like there was just a chance every ball. So, um, but then they were scoring at a good pace as well. So you're like, oh, like, didn't know if the game was kind of getting away from you or um, if you're on top. So, um, yeah, it was a really exciting game. So how did you in your mind for when you hit up the battle? Yeah, no, I was, I was pretty clear. Um, I think all the guys kind of spoke about having a really clear game plan. I think. Um, you kind of can't just sit there and survive. I think you kind of, kind of the mindset we had was score as many runs as you can before you get out because you will get out. So um, that was kind of the message that Pat gave us. Let's talk about this. Like, do you know your role? It's going to be your role more important than your role. Do you have to put more time? Does it get more time to play more than say when you're playing in Australia or overseas or something? Yeah, I think it's just a change of mindset. I think uh, when you come over here, um, I haven't experienced it before, but um, yeah, kind of not preparing to bowl. It's kind of nice to kind of clear your mind and just basically when you're watching, you're not trying to learn, trying to think how to get them out. You're kind of thinking how to score runs on the wicket. So um, yeah, it's probably a change of mindset. Is that when you realise how much you're going to be trying to score one does one thing rather than two? Sorry, I. So is that when you realise how much easier it could be to score the other guys when they focus on one discipline or two? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it was always nice. I think. Three years ago, I hurt my back and I was just concentrating on batting. So I've kind of been used to just concentrating just as a batter, and um, yeah, it's kind of nice to, to get a good result. One thing um, in particular that obviously you did very well in your day, and it seems to have been improving over time when you played test cricket, is how you start. Can you talk specifically about, I suppose, the work you've done both technically and mentally about those first you know, 10, 15 balls and, and you know, how much of it is specifically to hear about how much is, I suppose, more universal? Yeah, uh, that's, that's something everyone works on. Um, your first 20 balls are the most crucial. If you kind of get through that and um, if you're proactive, I think that, that gives you a um, really good chance to have a good innings, I think. Um, but over here, I think uh, it's a pretty clear plan or a message that's been sent from a few coaches and a few of the players saying um, you kind of got to go straight into your game plan straight away. You can't take 20 balls to get yourself in and then score. Um, you kind of got to be brave and, and play your shots really early and um, just be really clear in your first 20 balls. That's kind of um, been a clear message that I've got from coaches. And how much of that was the work that you were say doing with both Castle back in WA before Yeah, heaps. I think um, yeah, Cass and I have been kind of thinking about it for a while. I think um, it kind of took a while to kind of get a good idea how to face spin. I think uh, I used to have a bat tap to face spin and I kind of thought I was a bit rushed. Um, so I've gone away from the bat tap and it feels like I've got a bit more time um, to kind of play my shots. So it's something I've worked with Cass for a few years now and um, yeah, it's nice to pay off first game. Is it helpful to have, because there's not too many, I guess, like we'll have a batting coach who is a spinner, so it can sort of give you a little bit more of that, you know, what they're going to be thinking when, when you walk into that? Yeah, definitely. Um, well, it's kind of nice having, obviously he's a spinner himself, um, so when you face him in the nets, you actually get a really good gauge about um, what well, the spinner might bowl, and, and he's got a really good idea how to kind of how they would go about it. So, um, yeah, there's a few things back of the wacker where we kind of have like Matt's put in place to kind of replicate the spin, um, and then he's throwing them. And obviously, he's played cricket for Australia and played Test cricket. So, um, yeah, him throwing balls is not much better practice in Perth. And just um, in terms of what Sri have done today, they made some changes to their squad and they dropped their Bulldogs. Do you see that as a sort of a feather in the cap of the batters that you guys have been able to get on top of, I suppose, their most experienced spinner in the company who's not going to be playing the second test? Yeah, potentially. I uh, haven't put too much thought into it. Three, three days away and you don't know what team they're going to pick. So, um, yeah, I guess if you're changing the opposition team, you must be doing something right. But, um, yeah, we just have to wait and see who we come up against. You've faced a bit of Dick Sharma as well. Mahesh Dick Sharma, who um, has been added to the squad as well. Uh, can you pick him? Yeah, I think you can pick him. I think um, it's just 
how much he was spinning them both ways. It was kind of what got us. Um, yeah, it's a different game, test cricket to one day cricket. Um, you can kind of pick and choose the bowlers you want to attack in, in, in uh, one day cricket. Um, and yeah, I guess we just had to wait and see what team they go with and how to play them. Does that make, I mean, he's carrying ball, but it's a wicket to pick maybe the fourth or fifth ODI. What does that uh, make it easy to play given you don't have to score off of every ball? I think potentially. Um, I think what kind of, what Gaz is really good at is that you can kind of stack one side of the field and, and seems pretty close to impossible to score or, or survive. So, um, yeah, if you've got somebody who swings in both ways, there might be potential to score runs. So, um, yeah, we just have to wait and see. I think so. I think I've kind of spoke about the last few years, just trying to gain the confidence, um, the self-confidence that you can perform at this level. Um, and I kind of always knew that would come with time. Um, I'm obviously not where I want to be, but um, yeah, it's been a nice couple of couple of last games to kind of yeah build that confidence. Was it hard to find a cup to grow because Australia just hasn't really produced many of these? I think that's a bit harsh. I think. Well, that's 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 You've obviously got Shane Watson, I think. There's not many all-rounders at bat number three and bowl him any overs as he did. So, um, yeah, he's got incredible stats. And um, at WA, I think we got five or six all-rounders that have played for Australia. So I've had plenty of guys that I could look up to. Um, you've got Mitch Marsh, Stoyne, Aggers, um, just to name a few. So, um, yeah, I've had lots of guys that I could look up to. And, um, yeah, it's really, really beneficial. Um, just one in terms of... That innings, a winning man of the match for that innings. Um, has there been any sort of discussion about if you quantify the difficulty of that, you, you know, you've probably made 100 on a lot of other services? Yeah, I got, I got that from quite a few guys. Um, I kind of said that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> um, unfortunately, it's still 77, but yeah. Um, yeah, it gives you a bit of confidence that um, you kind of got a game plan that could potentially work in the subcontinent. Um, and if I start to not go as great, there's always the innings I can kind of look back on and, and how I played well, so um, yeah, it gives you a bit of confidence.